in this scene, why didn't you use, you know, my stuff? I feel like you didn't use anyone. So no, that is yours. <laughs> and I'm like, it is? I go back there, but oh yeah, that's right, I did do that. I'm always curious about the dynamics in creative duos. Take the legendary writer-directors John Musker and Ron Clements, who created classics like The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Treasure Planet, Hercules, Moana, and more. What's the secret for working so well together? For us, before we write an actual script, we have usually written a treatment, and perhaps we've had a beat board that's actually taken the story and blocked it out visually, say, just in 20 drawings. Here are the beats of the story, just to get a sense of the visual play of the story. So when we were writing a script, we were both animators. We try and write with animation in mind, with a visual medium in mind. So in some ways, that may mean a little less style, and maybe sometimes a little bit more description, stage directions, as we try and create a scene that feels visual and all of that. I also have usually written a treatment, and it might be five pages, it might be ten pages, but in that document we've outlined the story and we've outlined the characters, and we've had certainly discussions about the characters and how they play and what they are. So when we go about the act of writing, because Ron is particularly good with structure, and I'm arguably a little better or just more oriented toward exploration of dialogue and invention and improvisation, it's a little bit like playing the piano a little bit, where Ron is the left hand and on the right hand. So we have this outline, and basically I start kind of improvising on paper. We have the outline, and I take the first scene, and I go through consecutively through the story, and I improvise on paper, and I may write fragments of a particular scene. I may write the whole scene. I very often write it 10 different ways. I write 10 different versions of that scene, because I don't want to censor myself. I want to just see where my mind takes me. It's like an acting exercise. I picture the character and sort of try to give a sense of the character's voice. I'm writing dialogue and description, and I write longhand. I don't really type very well, so I write longhand. And then I feed those pages to Ron. And so he has those. And I move on to the next scene. And Ron, in order to not be interrupted, because Ron is very dedicated and all that, he doesn't share with me what he's doing. He basically takes what I've written, reads it all, circles things he likes, and starts to build the script. And he may not like, even though I've written it 10 times, he may not like any of those 10 that I've written. And so he may write something wholly new, or he may take half of this one, half of that one, or a big chunk of a certain version. And he starts building the script and continually going back over it as he adds to it, refining it, setting things up and moving back and forth between scenes. But I'm not reading a word that he's written until he finishes that whole draft. Unless he has an idea that changes the outline of the story in any significant way, I just keep proceeding. If sometimes you feel alone in your animation journey, maybe struggling to find time to write or unable to get your work in front of the right people, then I invite you to join us in the Write for Animation Academy. Our community of animation storytellers like you, where we learn and write together. The Write for Animation Academy is the perfect place to potentially find your creative partnerships like John and Ron. And some of our members are already creating amazing projects together. Click the link below to get access to a special promo. I can't wait to welcome you personally and introduce you to your fellow storytellers. Now, back to John Masker. And so it may take me eight weeks to go through the entire script and write all these variations. So the script that ultimately is going to be 110 pages or whatever, we always write too long probably anyway, but I've written 500 pages, literally. And finally, when I finish a few weeks ahead of me, he's right behind me usually, and then he hands me a script where he's made choices on all these things. I read it with a relative, pretty fresh eye because I, I don't know the choices he's been making. And, and of course, it's I say this and it sounds like a joke, but it's true. Sometimes I read the script and I'm like, in this scene, why didn't you use you know my stuff? I feel like... He didn't use anyone. So no, that is yours. And I'm like, it is? back to the oh yeah that's right I did do that been so free that I'm non-committal you know because we've got the superstructure the scaffolding that we're still hanging everything on so what I'm doing is changing the scaffolding but then from that point forward we go back and forth so then I read what he's written the choices he's made and then I make changes and things and I give it back to him and he makes changes and we do sort of a back and forth period and then we emerge with our first rough draft of the script and that's really the process we've done on most of the movies where we've written together I think it takes advantage of both our strengths and, and it's not exclusively that I'm not structured that Ron's not funny or inventive or whatever he is. And he's come up with many, like in Little Mermaid. I don't think I'd written this stuff this way, but he came up with the whole intercutting in the middle of Mermaid when they're, there's the dinner table and we're cutting back and forth between the chef and the kitchen and you're back on the table. They come back and forth and all that. That was all Ron's interweaving of those things. I hadn't it that way. I love this approach. We have more videos with the legendary John Masker coming soon. Subscribe so you don't miss them. If you want to discover why animation is the perfect medium for creative partnerships like this, click here to discover what makes writing for animation so magical compared to live action. I'm Pietro, this is Write for Animation, and I'll see you in the next video.